What's going on? Let's talk about this racist WNB owner, the Atlanta Dream, who's a nightmare, co-owner, and a senator, Kelly Loafers. Loafers. Um, she apparently says that there's no room in sports for uh, politics, and she's anti-Black Lives Matter, but yet her team is predominantly black, and she come off and pops off, and she says she's divide. You know, it's divisive. She sounds like a female Donald Sterling who tap dances with Donald Trump. Who would rather say you just be good black little girls and play ball and and mind your p's and q's and be good? I am so glad, and I'm going to do a video um, soon on Natasha Cloud and others who want her behind throwing out the WNBA, and she's been a leader for day to day duties. How dare you come out and light on what has happened to say such a thing? But it sounds like old slave plantation mindset, which it is. I mean, you know, I always say this about all the professional sports. Uh, you know, um, the, the NBA stands for Negroes be acting. WNBA stands for women of 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 uh, black descent be acting as well. Because this is what they're saying: eighty percent black females in the WNBA, and this is what they really think about you. She's a uh, you know sits up there and she's like, oh, I love my players and they're great for my economy, my bank. But don't be political. Don't don't. But it is political. Well, all these uneducated, unenlightened people don't understand. There was a time you couldn't have black folks all on a team and, and you had to do this. It's called work. And then she takes the takes this horse to ride this and says this. So I'm not shocked or surprised. A lot of NBA owners, a lot of N owners like feel like this, period. They just afraid to say it because George Floyd and other deaths and the pandemic and things have happened. They got their hands kind of semi-tied. They hope it blows away. I don't want it to ever blow away. Because racist owners and racist agendas need to be called out. The worst mistake you do is to hide up in it and what have you. You know. And it's one thing when a player says something. Like I was saying. When I was talking to video previous video about Deshaun Jackson. I said the Deshaun Jackson association with Minnesota Farrakhan is what people are going to be up in arms about. But players have that kind of flexibility. Owners, you're held to a different level of accountability. And in light of what's going on, I don't think you really want to be the one that's stirring this kind of pot, especially when your players are 80 percent African-American women in the league. But again, that's the plantation slave mindset. That's my thoughts and takes about that racist Atlanta Dream co-owner and Senator Kelly Loafer's remarks of anti-black live matters. Give me your thoughts and takes it to like and subscribe and the bell rings a new video. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for another. And they still see is the plantation.